My name is Tony Acello. I have a double bachelor's of science in forest management and in natural resource management, and I am a certified forester through the Society of American Foresters. I am also the senior forester here at Jefferson County Open Space, which owns and protects over 56,000 acres of land across 27 different parks along the central front range of Colorado. In this position, I help JCOS manage over 25,000 acres of forest that support a wide range of ecosystems. JCOS manages these ecosystems for a combination of factors, but primarily wildfire risk reduction and ecological enhancement. After a century of wildfire suppression, most of the seedlings that would have been removed by frequent natural wildfire were allowed to remain, creating the dense and unhealthy forests we have today. While thick, crowded forests might be what visitors are used to hiking through, it's not what's natural and it's not what our wildlife and plant communities count on to thrive here. By selectively removing live trees, we will reduce catastrophic wildfire risk and enhance overall forest health. There will always be some risk of wildfire. However, these projects will reduce the potential fuel sources and therefore the severity of wildfires within the treatment areas. This will not only increase the resiliency of important resources within the park, but will also aid first responders and help with evacuating residents impacted by possible fire. By removing seedlings and saplings, we reduce ladder fuels, which are materials that carry a fire up into a tree, much like a ladder. Open canopies with well-spaced, mature trees can slow the spread of fire if it does reach the canopy. And the reduction of fuels means that the fire will likely burn less hot allowing for more of the important vegetation to survive and reestablish quickly after a fire. This reestablishment of vegetation is incredibly important in controlling erosion after a wildfire. Our native wildlife species also benefit from these treated open forests that resemble the forests they have evolved with over millennia. We work closely with our wildlife team in many aspects of our planning. Adding to this complicated situation are the expected changes in future temperature and precipitation due to climate change. By actively managing our forests with climate-informed science, JCOS is working hard to create a healthy ecosystem for Jefferson County residents for generations to come. Finally, the ever-increasing population of the Colorado Front Range, particularly in the WUI or Wild Urban Interface, makes all of these forest issues more pressing and more relevant than ever. The threat of catastrophic wildfire to our drinking water, businesses, homes, and even our lives has never been more apparent. The foundational document for all of JCOS's forestry work is our recently adopted Forest Health Plan, which is available on the Jeffco Open Space website. This plan used thorough and robust modeling to strategically prioritize treatments so that they provided the biggest return on investment. The model used over 30 values that were collaboratively developed with numerous fire professionals, wildlife experts, botanists, foresters, and other stakeholders. This resulted in a map of treatment priorities of JCOS parks and management units within those parks, where our work should focus. In addition to guidance from the Forest Health Plan, JCOS also chooses projects based on ongoing collaborations with numerous partners, like other regional land managers and local fire districts. This makes sure that our projects enhance our parks and our community. To mimic ecological processes and restore the forest closer to its natural and more healthy state, we will often remove over half of the woody material in a project area. This can obviously be a significant change in the forest structure and to the park experience itself. The size and shape of these changes are important and natural, even if it is a bit surprising at first. We also understand that it may be surprising to see some, or even many, large trees being removed from the forest. While many of these trees are over 100 years old, fire suppression during the last 150 years has created overcrowding in our forests, turning many of these trees into part of the problem. While a 150-year-old tree may sound old, many tree species do not begin taking on old growth traits until they are at least 200 to 300 years old and can live far beyond that if healthy forest conditions are present. Jeffco Open Space staff is trained to identify old growth traits and to make sure to protect possible old growth trees, often by removing other large trees nearby. Another element of the JCOS forest treatments is that we will often leave dead woody material on the ground 
and even some dead trees standing in the project area. This standing dead wood provides habitat and food sources for many birds, and the dead material on the ground will provide microhabitats that support an array of animal populations. It will also help retain moisture to assist in vegetation growth. Snags will not be left near trails, picnic shelters, or other areas with significant risk from falling trees. Also, the amount of woody debris on the ground is limited, as this can create additional problems. The forestry team works with the local fire departments to make sure that the conditions created have met our risk reduction goals. And we consult with the botany team to ensure that the native vegetation have the right conditions to thrive. Forest health projects often occur over many acres and utilize lots of equipment, from chainsaws to giant tracked machines that can cut and limb a tree in under a minute. This type of work can obviously be very dangerous and have numerous impacts on our park experience. One of the most direct impacts may be trail closures. JCOS does its best to minimize these closures, however they are often needed to protect visitors and crews. Please check our website for the most up-to-date closure information and always remember to read and obey closure signs you encounter in the parks. You may also notice quite a bit of colored ribbon or flagging throughout a project location. Different colored ribbons are used to mark boundaries, sensitive locations, wildlife trees, and other important areas of a project. These markings are reviewed by many specialists within the JCOS Natural Resources team and often outside partners are consulted to help ensure proper management of these forests. The JCOS forestry projects can result in some rather large piles of cut trees, called log decks. Other than firewood, there's very limited market for logs along the front range, so removing them can actually be a costly endeavor compared to other parts of the country or even the state. The wood from these decks is usually removed by the private contractor implementing a project as a requirement of their contract. JCOS pays for the wood removal and does not profit from it. If JCOS implements the project, the wood is utilized within the park system or a public firewood sale is hosted. Minimal permit fees are collected and JCOS does not generate a profit from this either. The equipment and forestry work can cause tire rutting or other disturbances in the soil. Precautionary measures are taken to avoid driving through wetlands and other sensitive areas. And in places where ruts or other disturbances do occur, mitigation efforts will be made so that the areas can recover. This may involve simply knocking the ruts down or may require a more intensive seeding or erosion control project. The most appropriate measures will be taken. Forest management can also create noticeable disturbance to the vegetation on the ground where trees are being removed. However, the vegetation will start to grow back soon after the project has been completed. The initial revegetation process typically takes two to five years, depending on the precipitation and other environmental factors. The JCOS Botany team monitors this revegetation and will reseed disturbed areas if needed. Jeffco Open Space's Noxious Weed Management team also monitors and controls for invasive vegetation for many years after a treatment. JCOS understands that loud equipment, changes in routines, and sudden shifts and the look and feel of a park that we love can be a bit jarring. However, these short-term impacts to our visitor experience will be more than worth the medium and long-term impacts of the project. Thank you for taking the time to learn about healthy forests in Jeffco Open Space Parks.